All right, Mama needs a new pair of shoes. Okay, oh, hey. Well, welcome. I'm gonna teach you how to do probability with dice Steigerwald's way, okay? This will come in handy. You're in Vegas and you know, you're playing a game called craps or whatever, and you gotta know the probability. It's gonna help you on uh, the test coming up. So, dice probability. To figure out how many combinations or how many ways numbers could come up, you could make a little chart, you know, one, you can roll a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a one, a two. You get the idea? And then, okay, one and one is two, one and two is three, and it would take a month of Sundays. But you could do that. What I like doing is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Now, what are these? Well, if you roll a one and a one, known as snake eyes, the smallest sum you can get is two. Then you can get a sum of three, and the largest sum you can get is a 12, a six and a six, okay? So these are all the possible sums. How many, so first of all, if you have six on one die and six on another, six times six is 36. So there's 36 possible outcomes, okay? Well, this is a quick way of doing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, why did I know to change directions? Well, you heard a lucky seven, right? In Vegas, seven, seven, seven. Seven comes up the most when you add two dice together. So here we go. So six is the most. So how many times, how many ways out of 36 can you roll a two? One. So here we have some probability. Probability of rolling a seven is there are six ways to get it out of 36. That reduces nicely to one over six. How about getting a number less than five? Well, this is five, so we don't want to count that. So we could get those there. So there's three, two, there's six ways out of 36. Oh, that's interesting. So you have the same probability of rolling a seven as you do of rolling a two, three, or four. Keep that in mind if you're gambling with somebody. How about the probability of rolling a 14? It can't be done, baby, right? So there's a 0% chance. So unless you're in New York City and the guy in the corner is trying to roll dice and come up with the sum of 14. But anyhow, this is the quick way of doing it. These are all the possibilities. Let's do one more. What's the probability of rolling an 11 or a 12? You have two ways there. One, that's three out of 36, which would reduce to one over 12. Take a break.